After the Bosch initiative comes the Yamaha initiative at Haybike. Just as Yamaha and Bosch present their new systems, Haybike come around the corner with a range of new e-bikes. We've taken a closer look at the Enduro 7 featuring the new Yamaha PWX3 motor and relying on a 750 WH battery. The components of the new Haybike Enduro 7 in detail. With the Enduro 7, Highbike have prioritized trail-compatible components that offer good value for money. The IFOX 38 performance fork and Float X2 performance shock offer 180 mm travel front and rear. The drivetrain is supplied by Shimano and is comprised of a SLX D-Ray lure and shifter combined with a Shimano Dior cassette. The Magura MT7 four-piston brakes are paired with 200 mm rotors front and rear, offering plenty of stopping power. For the Enduro 7, Haubike have chosen to go with mixed wheel sizes, combining a 29 wheel up front with 27.5 wheel on the rear, both from Mavic's ED Max range. On the drive side, the impressive Haubike chainring steals the show from the compact Yamaha PWX3 motor. The Yamaha PWX3 motor is the new sheriff in town. It's smaller, lighter, and should offer a strong performance on the Haybike Enduro 7. The new Yamaha remote on the Haybike Enduro 7 is small and discreet, offering the bare essentials with just three buttons. The new Yamaha display provides all the basic data such as the battery level and support mode in a compact format. The new Enduro 7 features Haybike's distinctive look, though the beefy frame we've grown accustomed to has been slimmed down. You won't find the new Enduro 7 wrapped under the Christmas tree this year. The Roman numerals on the top tube make it clear. The new Habikes will only be available from 2022. The Ifelex 38 Performance Fork relies on the Grip Damper. It offers fewer adjustment options than the more expensive Grip 2 model. The front of the Enduro 7 rolls on a Schwalb Magic Mary tire featuring the durable super gravity casing and grippy ultra soft rubber compound. This ensures plenty of grip and puncture protection. The Schwalb Big Betty on the rear relies on the lighter super trail casing, though we would have liked a thicker version here too. The Ifelex Float X2 performance shock controls 180 mm travel at the rear, 